Hi everyone, um, it's me again, Gareth, a uh, big friendly wargamer. Um, and I thought I'd do a video because a friend of mine was asking uh, questions about uh, what is Warhammer. And uh, I thought I'd do this as a bit of a introduction thingy. And I've got a glove on because I'm going to be building a model. Um, but first off I want to start off, basically, at its core, Warhammer is a war game. Uh, it is played by two or more players and it normally involves miniatures such as these guys these guys he's not finished painted yet so don't worry about him um, and you have two armies so say for example they're my Necrons forget the cork don't worry about the cork the corks aren't there and these are my Chaos Space Marines So basically, you have games between armies like this, which could involve a lot more models, could involve fewer, um, and you use each each model itself has a different stat line, and you use uh, dice rolls and um, basically yeah dice dice rolls and luck to work out outcomes of models shooting at each other forget the practicalities of it it's all um how do you say uh abstract you know so yeah basically at its core that's what warhammer is um but there are other war games around um games workshop is probably the biggest war gaming company at the, at the moment um but there are others there's um trying to think of some weird games who who, who make Malifaux you've got Warlord games uh, there, there, there's quite a lot around I mean if you look on just type in Wargaming in, in, on a, a Google search and it will tell you basically uh, I give you a list of quite a few um, but basically what I wanted to show you is uh, starting out in Wargaming now, I'm going to remove these so they're not in on camera because basically I just want to give you an idea of a fresh start okay so you've got your table set up um, you've gone into a gaming shop and you decided you're gonna start collecting this stuff um, and it comes in two kind of formats really well it comes in many kind of formats um, so your basic most of this is going to be games workshop stuff because it's what I collect so your basic stuff, say for example, this box of blood letters. If you've watched any of my videos before, you may have seen me painting some of these before. Um, it's a brand new box. I, I bought this because I need it for an army. Not opened it yet, and I'm going to open it today. Um, I think they're about £25. Um, and it is, that is basically what you get in there is... A unit for the game and you could have this unit could be your whole army if you're going to play small small points games um, but you can also go a bit bigger and go with things like this now this is a start collecting box this is this is games workshop and this is blood angels which you can't see because the camera's too high basically there okay so it's a blood angel start collecting box and in this, you get three different units. So you get the, uh, the basic squad, which is a tactical squad in this. Um, you get a, uh, a captain who's in Terminator armor. Don't worry about the Terminator armor for now. And you get a tank. So you basically, you've got a troop, a HQ, and a heavy support choice. Um, this is more of a, a great way to stop because you generally get discounts. Uh, on the stuff I think it works out that you get this guy for free he's like a 15 pound model so he doesn't cost you anything um, they're a great way to start the game and to get into it um, and but the problem with this is this is for one game um, and this is 50 pound if you buy it in games workshop um, and you can only play that one game with this really uh, whereas the blood letters that I showed you before, 
they can be used for two and maybe three games. That you could be used for uh, Warhammer 40,000, which is the primary game that I play. It could be used for Age of Sigma, which is a game I'm learning, and pretty soon it'll be able to be used for the Horus Heresy, which is um, an older edition of 40k, um, but it plays differently. So, yeah. Um, you can also get things like this then. And this is this is a Necron Overlord in a in a plastic pack. He's made from a resin called Finecast, um, and as again, not opened yet. I haven't got around to him. I've got lots of stuff like this that I haven't opened yet. Um, and basically, you can use what you can use. I use super glue. This is my super glue I use, mm -hmm. and I find it's really good for building everything. Um, a resin model you need super glue for. You can't build it with plastic glue. Um, I have some plastic glue somewhere, but I don't use it, so it's disappeared. Um, it could be under here, but we, we don't need to do that. But the other models, the, the Star Collecting Box and the Blood Letters, are plastic. So you can build them with plastic cement. Um, now, I don't like plastic cement. It's It does give a stronger bond, generally, but I don't like it. Um, I prefer super glue, so I use super glue for everything. Um, and then this is this is uh, my December acolytes for uh, Malifo, which my sister nice kindly got me for Christmas. Uh, and it's all backwards, of course, because my camera's upside down. So, um, but basically, these are plastic models uh, made by Word uh, Weird Games. Um, they're plastic, but they're a different kind of plastic to Games Workshop, um, and. As you can see, the packaging is really different. This is for a totally different game. This isn't for Warhammer, for Warhammer at all. This is for Malifaux. Uh, Malifaux is a, a different game, different kind of war game where you don't use dice, you use playing cards. Like a proper deck of 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, Jack, Queen, King, Ace. Um, so it is very different. Um, and then going up to the very end of the scale, this guy here now basically they come in boxes with plastic uh, this has been cleaned up because I was working on him before um, and this is from Forge World which is and it works out to be this guy here basically he's a Primark he's called Luminarus um, this is the higher end of the wargaming miniatures um, very high detail and uh, comes in a lot of parts. I've not got round to, to complete building him or painting him yet. And I will do. There's no rush. I'll get to him eventually. Um, and some miniature companies have metal models. Um, I have a number of metal models. Um, a lot of metal models from my Blood Angels for particular. Um, but basically that's the what you get. And some kits are... are, are more difficult to build than others um, but for today I'm gonna just build one of these guys um, as I was saying I need to open it up first uh, I need to get these built for a game in a couple of weeks time uh, and I've been spray painting all weekend because the weather's actually been quite good um, now when you open these they could be a little bit intimidating to start with. So you get your instructions, you get your bases. All models generally have a base. And then they come on these spewers, as you can see. So all the models are in parts, and they have to be assembled, because otherwise you can't really use them. Um, so basically all I'm going to do today is I'm going to assemble one blood letter on camera, um, and then call it there. Um, so basically, yeah, I've got my clippers, which are these. These are Games Workshop clippers. You can get them from everywhere. I've got my mold line remover, which is, again, Games Workshop, but you can get from anywhere. Um, and I've got my super glue, which let's take the lid off of that. Um, I think my super glue's a bit old, uh, and I'm having to use a drill to unblock it all the time, but that's okay. It's not a problem. Okay. 
John needs cleaning, but there you go. So basically what I'm going to do is I'm going to start by clipping off the parts for the first blood layer. Um, and generally speaking, the, the, the simpler kits are really quite straightforward. So start by clipping his legs. And what you want to do with this is not cut the model. Just make sure you, you leave a little bit away from the model. Um, so yeah, so it, it, you don't risk damaging it basically. Um, and if this is your first time building stuff like this, then, then you don't need to worry too much about, about everything really. I mean, it's a learning curve. You'll get better at it as you get as you go on. Don't don't think that everyone like I I was terrible. I used to leave mold lines on my models and everything. Um, it's a learning curve. So, so we've got his legs and his arms there. Uh, we're going to cut out a torso piece for him or it. It's not a, it's not gender specific. Um, okay, and we need a head. So, so it's weird, these, these blood letters, the heads come in two parts. Um, so that's his like dome bit of his head. And then you've got the face and the horns. Uh, he's got hair down his back as well, which as all us men know is essential. Um, okay, so that's all the bits for the blood layer. I also need to open this bag so I can have a base for him. So, little round base. And basically, I'm going to start cleaning this up now. So, you won't. Let's see if I can zoom in a bit and you'll be able to see this a bit better. Okay, so, as you can see, there we go. This is his torso part. And you've got this bit here. Uh, it's, re it's awkward doing this on camera. It really is. Okay. So you see this little bit here. Is where the spewer connected to the model. And it just needs to come off. It's quite easy. With a mold line scraper it's, it's really quite straightforward. And like I said you don't need to be perfect with these. These are basically infantry guys there they kind of they die fairly quickly and then basically go around the model and any mold lines just just remove them it's fairly straightforward and if like i said if this is your first time don't feel intimidated by any, any of this i i've got a a thing where i get intimidated by big models and i put them off i put off building them and stuff and, and you really don't need to um uh, me saying that, I've got a Reaver Titan sitting in my, um, and a, a Reaver Titan again is Forge World, um, and the kit is huge. It's like, like these guys are 28 mil scale, um, and so is the Titan. It's used in the same game, but it is nearly a foot tall, I think, whereas these are a few inches high. Um, so yeah, so basically I'm just going around on the on the model and cleaning it up. And this won't be a long video. I'll, I'll go back to my rambling videos on uh, on Tuesdays. Although I'm thinking about moving them to Sundays because it just Sunday is I've got time to do things. So yeah, but we'll see. We will see. Maybe after I've had my holiday from work, we'll see. Um, so yeah, now I'm on the head. I'm just cleaning up the horns, and this is this is a relatively straightforward model to build. Um, the forge world stuff is a lot harder, um, but again, it's all experience. Once you once you've done it, built stuff a few times, it becomes, it comes quite easy. Um, it's just the, these guys are a bit weird the way that they've done them. Um, like their, their tongue is attached to the back bit of the head which goes through the mouth and and everything but it's fine uh, they're, they're not new models they've been around for a while um, but yeah they're, they're, they're fine um, 
So the mould line on the front of his leg was quite big. That's come off now. And I'm not going to be perfect with these. They might have a bit of mould lines on them still. It's fine. It's just basically where they where they make these spears. Um, you have like it's they're two part molds that go together like that, and um, they leave a line around the models. Not all the time, but sometimes they do. Um, and it's just taking that off. That's fine. Right, so they're all cleaned up now. So we're going to get to gluing. So we're going to start off with the legs. We're going to put a bit of super glue. Now, with super glue, you don't need that much really. Um, plastic glue will give you basically what plastic glue does. It slightly melts the plastic and gives you like a a cement so the parts of the plastic glue together so what I'm doing now is we're going to put the, the two parts of the legs together let's see right, let's zoom back out again because I'm not I just realized that I was zoomed in uh, there we go that's better so two parts of the legs like that and I've, I've noticed there's still a bit of a mould line but paint is your friend here once you get around to painting it it hides quite a bit of stuff um, and this super glue I've got I find is really good purely because it, it, it holds everything together um, and then I'm going to put a bit more on here and put the body on And it's going to fall off. It's about you just got to take your time. I mean, I'm I'm rushing this a little bit because I didn't want don't want to make a mega long video. Um, because it's Sunday and I want to get to painting. I've got I've got stuff I've got to get painted. Okay, and at this point I'm now going to glue him to his base. So glue on the feet, and he's just going to go on his base like that just hold him in place while the glue sets and like I said with the whole glove thing it's this is one of my weightlifting gloves I use it quite a lot and it's starting to fall apart a little bit um, but where I've built so many models over the years I, I'm, I have problems with my hand um, these tools are quite quite hard like they have no grip or anything on them so basically the gloves they just save me from constantly ripping my hand to pieces so this is something you need to look at if you if you're looking at getting into this hobby you, is your tools I mean I do have other clippers around somewhere um, but they're older clippers and they are actually quite blunt now. So I, I use these because they're fairly new. Um, so I'm giving that a, a few seconds to set. And then we're going to glue the hair down his back. Because he's a Mandy demon with hair down his back. Just applying some glue to the, to the connection point. And you don't have to go overboard with the glue. You can just add little bits and pieces here and there. <coughs> so that's the stage we're at at the moment. So he's got no arms and no head, but it's okay. And then while that's drying a little bit, we can glue his head together. So basically what we're gonna do is super glue in the head, in the head and thread his tongue through the through the mouth which is this is what I mean by it's a weird way they've built these but anyway and uh, just hold that in place while it sets the, the, the good thing with this super glue is like literally give it a few seconds and it's good to take your hand away and let's see I'm still getting used to this camera let's see if it'll focus 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 
No, it really ain't going to focus. So let's try and do that. Do, 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 do. No, I ain't going to focus at all. Oh, there we go. And now my, my, now my hand's in the way. So that's his head. And he's a demon, so he's supposed to look scary. And I've glued it and dropped it. Well done. I'll be back. Right, so we've got his head glued. His body is glued to the base. So we're going to put the arms on now. And he's got a really big sword. And so we're going to put some super glue in his arm. And uh, figure out which way the sword arm goes on. Just like that. And I've gone a little bit overboard with the super glue. There's a little bit much on there, but it's fine. It dries clear anyway, so you won't be able to see it. And we're going to put the other arm on. Now, you may not be as quick as this. I, I've i been doing this for quite a while. Um, 25 years or so. So, I... I can generally do this I know I've so that's the basic guy and now all, all that's needed is to put his head on and we're done do, 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 do. we're gonna put him up put his head at a slight angle so he's looking sideways Okay, so he is finished being built. So that's a blood layer. Um, so we're going to put that, that away now. He's ready to be undercoated. Well, once the glue's dried. Um, so I'm going to leave that there. Um, and basically, yeah, that's... Um, building a miniature um, there are bigger things that need building I have for example the tank in the start collecting box uh, the forge world model as well at some point I'll get around to him um, but yeah but fundamentally that's building a miniature I hope that's useful to someone um, and I hope that if anyone is interested in the hobby they feel free to send me questions I don't mind answering anything um, and thank you very much for watching. Uh, goodbye.